Hello everyone, it's John. It is uh, Sunday, the day before uh, Labor Day, and I just wanted to say, um, hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Purpose of the video is um, give a little update on my life, and first and most importantly is to kind of apologize to all the Garage Gang guys. Um, I feel like I've kind of kind of uh, left you guys hanging and that's not been my intention it's just life got in the way and you know how that is I've been uh, <clears throat> super busy all summer um, give you a little background in the uh, spring you guys may remember that my wife and I decided to sell our house so we put it up on the market had a couple of interested parties but no one actually bit on the hook and uh, the comments that we had gotten were that um, the roof was no good um, which was partially true and the siding was no good which was partially true <laughs> and uh, even some saying the driveway was no good which was partially true so we took the house off the market <clears throat> while we fixed up some things on the house um, first thing we did was brand new roof. Can't really see it. Maybe over here. Brand new roof, which was um, <clears throat> kind of a blessing actually because uh, the insurance actually covered the roof because many of the um, roof boards had been damaged by. Um, by the weight of the ice this year. We had the heaviest snowfall, the second heaviest snowfall on record this year. And uh, the, I, the weight of the ice crushed a lot of the roof boards. We're actually really lucky we didn't get any water in the house. We only got some in the mudroom. So, <clears throat> huge blessing. State Farm really, really stepped up to the plate for us on that. Thank you, State Farm, and a plug for them. So then um, we talked about siding. The siding was terrible. It was wood Oh, not clapboard, just a wood panel siding, siding that was painted, and it was, it was not in great condition, but, um, well, so, <clears throat> this is what I've been doing all summer, is the siding. And then, like I said, the third thing was the driveway. The driveway was in really rough shape. It's an asphalt driveway. Had very deep ruts, lots of cracks. Previous owner had done some patching with concrete, like filled ruts with concrete. I don't know. So, your driveway. So that, all that together, and then on top of that, you know, a bunch of landscaping. and Basically the house looks really good. It's the best it's looked since we've moved in. <clears throat> so, yeah, the siding job was way bigger. Let me see if I can... Oh, the sunset's already gone, unfortunately. There's a nice one tonight, too. Yeah, sorry, I missed it. But, um, yeah, I didn't really realize how big a job the siding was. Um... I've been working on it all summer and it's still not done. I'll show you what I mean. This is the back of the house. Yeah, you can see where I stopped. And the reason that I stopped is because I threw my back out again. <clears throat> well, after I threw my back out, you know, I spent the weekend laying in bed and and then I continued on kind of at a broken pace because of my back and the pain. Well, and then uh, a couple weeks ago, I went into the doctor and got a big cocktail of medicines mixed up to take care of the back pain. And, uh, well, the medicine, I think it was the medicine, the doctor doesn't agree with me, but <clears throat> it's done. I, I've had this reaction to medicine before, and so basically I got, uh, it uh, punched me in the liver, the medicine did, and it started an infection that then spread to my kidneys and my um, 
my prostate. Those, at least, I don't, I don't know if it was an infection was anywhere else, but it was in those three at least. Um, because I could feel the pain in my kidneys. My blood test showed the, pain, the uh, problem with my liver. And the doctor verified, if you know what I mean, the problem with my prostate. So, so this week, that put me down for about four days, just, just in bed down, like just laying there miserable down, you know, 101 temperature and, you know, on top of the back pain and the uh, kidney pain and the, you know, the yucky pains from the other things being infected. It was just rough. So I'm feeling a little bit better now, as you can tell, because I'm out of bed. Lost about 15 pounds in a week. But uh, yeah, we're bouncing back now. The medicine, the antibiotics are doing their thing. Um, so, you know, I'm out in the barn. I'll show you these crates that I picked up. Uh, well, oh, yeah, let me get back to moving. So it was our plan to get the house back on the market by on September 8th, which is, uh, what, in a week? You can tell what the siding looks like. Um, <clears throat> so the wife and I have decided to table moving until the spring, um, which sucks because the hour drive in the winter becomes an hour and a half, and it's not fun. But um, it is what it is. We'll adapt. <clears throat> Well, it'll also give us a chance to get a little more financially prepared. I'm holding my forehead because I have a 24-hour headache. 24-hour 24 24-day hour headache. Also not fun. Um, so, yeah, I bought these crates off Craigslist. And then I got myself some, uh, some casters. <clears throat> So they roll up nicely into my dad's trailer, and I started packing my barn up. You know, I mean, this is this is all stuff that I want to keep, but um, it's large, clunky stuff that's not easily packed. So these crates will be perfect for that kind of thing. I'm trying to get rid of as much of that as I can. If there's anyone in West Michigan that needs some gray fox body interior parts, let me know. Next to nothing. Um, but, you know, the car, she sits, and it's disappointing to watch. I haven't touched it all summer, guys. Um, uh, there's not much appreciable, well, a little bit, a little bit of surface rust, I guess. But I guess you got to expect that. It's actually quite clean, considering it's been out here and it's been relatively humid. So anyways, I um, want to say, Greg, um, I enjoyed the uh, video, videos you guys are posting from the extravaganza. Um, wish I could be there. Obviously, it wasn't in the cards for this summer. Um, we got big plans, guys. Big plans to move someplace that's um, a little lower maintenance, um, a little less expensive so that we can have a little bit more disposable income to do fun stuff like that. And fun stuff like finishing my car, fun stuff like traveling. We haven't had any money to travel. I can't tell you how bad I want to take the kids to Disney World. Uh, or on a Disney cruise, anyway. So, all right guys, I guess that's it for now. We're on the mend. Um, I think in uh, another few days I'll probably be right as rain, I hope. So that's it from uh, Mustang Barn. Um, I'm going to try to get caught up on some videos here over the next day or two. Um, I apologize for uh, leaving you guys hanging, but... I think you can see I got some pretty good reasoning for it. Hopefully, uh, when the snow flies, I'll be able to 
be a little more participative. So thanks guys for watching. Take care. Peace.